Okay, so I want to show you this fun application that I created here, which is a conversational AI that helps you understand better how to use Langfuse. The purpose of this project is just to show how we used uh, Pipecat in the, in the backend to create a voice chatting uh, pipeline, how I'm using Langfuse to understand my AI application better uh, and to evaluate how it's operating. Uh, and this is an open source project that I just created uh, in, in this account, so you can go and check it out. First of all, I, I want to show you an example and then I'll explain a little bit how the code works. So for that, I'm just going to show you that I have my Next.js project in the front end, just uh, up and listening, and also the uh, Python backend uh, that is using Pipecat, which is a, a multimodal framework for building AI applications. And um, it's running on the port 3000. So hi, how are you? Hi, I'm here and ready to help you with Langfu's questions or- Can you tell me about evaluations? Langfuse evaluations help you measure LLM output quality and reliability, both offline with test datasets slash CI. Oh, thank you. Um, so yeah, this is just a look of how this uh, project works. Uh, and going a little bit into the code, uh, I'm just going to show you this is a, a one file Python project. Uh, the most important part is how I'm using the pipeline of Pipecat uh, to pipe the input, the audio input. Uh, convert it uh, into into text, uh, send it to the LLM, take the text to speech back, and, and then uh, talk to to the user and getting the answer. And then we're here saving the information of the conversation into the context, uh, so we can then reuse it in, in future conversations. This is actually using the uh, Langfuse MCP client that has access to to the documentation, and so it's going and actually fetching the information directly from there. And uh, finally, to be able to understand how the project is working, what the users are struggling with, problems that are usually appearing, uh, I would need to set up some telemetry for this uh, to understand how uh, what the LLM calls look like and, and the responses and, and, and so on. So using the open telemetry exporter here uh, with Pipecat, which is an uh, open protocol for sending traces uh, to whatever you want, basically. So you can see here that I don't have any Langfuse package. I'm actually just uh, setting the open telemetry exporter to point to the uh, Langfuse instance uh, with my uh, credentials and, and then it's saving the details. We can actually see the input. Uh, so this is the assistant prompt, the input, then the response of the assistant. This already gives me a lot of information of what are the responses that my users are getting. And so for example, if I wanted an automatic system to evaluate these responses and give me scores, show me debug information of, of how things are going, uh, one of the things that you can actually set up is an evaluation that helps you understand, for example, in this case, if the responses are concise enough. And so to, to be able to, to set this up, I created an LLM as a judge evaluator, uh, which basically with every trace that I'm getting, it's sending uh, a request to an LLM, giving it the, the input of the query. So in this case, it's my question, and then the output of the LLM, um, and it'll ask it to score it from, from zero to one. So we can see that 0 0.9 score and have a better understanding of how my AI uh, system is, is uh, working. LLM as a judge is one of the many uh, ways that you can have better observability on the timing of your AI systems with Langfuse. I like them a lot because you can actually set a lot of uh, evaluations to understand how your AI applications are, are working. So yeah, check this project out, give it a spin uh, on your own and, and have fun.